Thank you. For more insight onto this, we had to bring in uh, the lawyer here. We're joined now by Anthony Russo, the lawyer representing the plaintiff in this lawsuit against Hershey's. Uh, Anthony, th thank you for joining us. I just, you know, I've been eager to talk to you. Just to clarify right off the top, we're talking about this candy, right? The, the pumpkin shaped Hershey chocolate Reese peanut butter cup, correct? What was your, your client's problem with this when she opened up this packaging? Yes, that was one of the ones that was uh, mentioned in the lawsuit. Um, basically, this comes down to uh, consumer trust. It, nobody wants to be feel like they're being misled. Um, you know, back in the old days when when I was growing up, there was um, a lot of trust in the companies that we bought the products from. We got what we paid for, and there was no kind of uh, any kind of pulling punches or any kind of funny business going on. Um, I think now people are just losing faith in the fact that companies are not producing the products that the consumers feel like they're paying for. Yeah. Um, it's a very simple premise. So she opens up this package, and if I read correctly, the eyes weren't on the pumpkin like, like she thought they would be. I think the big question on top of everybody's mind is explain the $5 million she's suing for here and how the two of you reached that number, because a lot of people aren't understanding how eyeless chocolate damaged or harmed your client in any way, physically, financially, or otherwise. Where did the $5 million come from? How'd you land there? Yes, that's a question we get asked quite a bit from uh, all the media sources. And really, just to clarify it, um, the five million dollars, or the number we we claim in the in the lawsuit, is basically just a jurisdictional number. Um, you need certain requirements depending on where you are. You know, in in Miami, in in Tampa, in Fort Lauderdale, wherever you are in, in Florida or any other jurisdiction on the country, there are certain minimum requirements you have to meet to get into that court. One of them is a certain amount in controversy, and that's just a number we put out there that allows us to get in there as opposed to a small claims court and the premise is really that this could be something that um you know if a class is certified down the road one day this could be something that there could be tens of thousands maybe hundreds of thousands of people so it could rise to that number or more yeah and lastly i mean what do you hope that you know hershey's is is listening to here i mean i, I kind of wanted to open it myself and see if there were eyeballs on this what do you hope that they you know, hear from you and your client, this one doesn't have anything on it, uh, you know, either. It's a, it's a plain chocolate pumpkin. But what do you hope comes from this? And also, what do you tell critics who say, this is the biggest money grab I've ever heard of, Anthony? It's the same thing we always do in all these cases we handle. And we're very discriminating. We probably take less than 1% of the cases that come across our desk. It's change. It's just, we just want people to we just want companies to change what they're doing and just be honest with people. And that's a very simple premise. And sometimes it has to be to the point where somebody does file a lawsuit to get someone's attention. But it's really basically change for consumers. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.